everybody and welcome. Today's project is going to be a pull strap, but before we get into that, I want to let all of you guys be warned that you might um, see some stuff on my hands. I um, painted a picture for my room yesterday and I made a complete mess of my hands. Um, I can show you the picture that I painted and so um, I used my hands to put the paint on the canvas and um, because I did it in layers and things like that I washed my hands a lot so I dried out my hands and then some of the paint just got stuck around my nails and stuff and I am having a heck of a time trying to get it out. I've tried nail polish remover, I've tried soaking them in hot water, it's, it, I know that it'll fade eventually but I just don't want you guys thinking that my hands are dirty, um, it's just from the painting. Uh, so with all that said we can just get started on this project now. So for the pull strap, I am going to be using these uh, swivel claw hooks. I use two of them. They're one inch and I do get these at pericordgalaxy.com and the colors that I'm going to be using today are I have a graphite uh, gray for the double cows hitch. If you're not familiar with a double cows hitch I will leave a link below. I know some people have asked me why I don't show me hooking it up. The reason for that is because I try to keep my videos as short as possible and to um, do the hookup is just going to add more minutes to the video. But I do have a link down below for you guys that I um, share how to do the whole hookup. Um, and you can use the double cows hitch for the collars or the pull straps, things like that. Or bracelets. Um, the other colors that I'm going to be do using is a, another graphite uh, gray, a black, and a white. The first cord that I'm going to be adding is the white and you want to loosen up your cow's hitches just a little bit. The graphite is a little stiffer so you want to loosen those up a little bit. I am using a pericord needle but you don't have to. If you don't have one, you don't have to use one. It does make it a little bit easier to push it through. What you're going to want to do with the white is you're going to go right through both cow's hitches. So you're going to go right through them both. Just like that, you're going to pull it to the other side and also to the middle of the white cord. Next you're going to use your other graphite gray and you're going to want to go the same way you did with the white. You're just going to go right in between those two cow's hitches to the other side and then take it to the middle. Next I have the black and what I'm going to do with this one is, is that you're going to want to go right right in the center of one cow's hitch, go underneath that second stitch, go underneath the next stitch, and come back up this center of the other cow's hitch. So you're going to go right in between those two stitches, underneath those next two stitches, and right up that second cow's hitch and you're going to pull that also to the other side and to the middle. Okay so once you have all your cords to the middle you can roll up the ends of your cords because I'm using two separate uh, graphite cords I decided to roll up one small and one a little bit bigger so um, I keep track of which one I'm grabbing and I don't get them mixed up. Once you have all that done, we can just get started. So I'm going to be starting on my right side with the smaller bundle of graphite. 
What I'm going to want to do here is I'm going to go underneath this first cord that is on my right, right up the middle, and then over the second cord. So I'm just going to go underneath, right up the middle, and then over. Now I'm going to take the graphite on the left side, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go underneath the cord that I just worked, and I'm going to do the same thing, just the uh, mirror image. I'm going to go underneath the first cord, which is now on the left side, right up through the middle, and then over the second cord on my right side. So I'm going to go underneath, right up the middle, and then over. You have like a little triangle here. You have your loops on each side. Now I'm going to take the white on my right side. I'm going to go underneath all of my work right up the middle. And then you have this loop that you just made on your right side. You're going to go down that loop. Take the white on the left side now. Go underneath all your work, right up the middle, and then you're going to go down this loop that you have um, on your left side. Now you have these two horizontal graphite uh, pieces that you just um, did in the beginning. You're going to pull up on them just a little bit. Now take your other graphite, which is going to be my larger bundle. And what you're going to do with this guy is you're going to go over and around these two horizontal pieces and then out the right side. So go over and around and out the right. Take your one on the left now and do the same thing. Go over and around but just go out the left side. So go over and around and out the left side. Next, you're going to take your black and you're going to crisscross both of your black. So I'm just going to take my right cord, go over my left, and bring that left over to the right. Now you're going to take your black cord that is on your right. And you're going to do the same thing that you just did with the graphite. You're just going to go around those two horizontal pieces and then out the right. So go around and out the right. Take your cord that's on your left now and do the same thing. Just go out the left. So go over and around and out the left. And you can tighten it up. Once you have it tightened up, you can just start that weave all over again. You're going to start on your right side, and you're going to, um, for me, it's my smaller bundle of graphite, and I'm just going to go underneath that first cord, right up the middle, and over the second. Now I'm going to take the graphite on my left side, I'm going to go underneath the cord that I just worked, underneath that first cord, which is on my left now, right up the middle, and over that second cord. Then you have that little triangle. Take your white on the right side, you're going to go underneath all your work, right up the middle. You have this loop here on the right side, you're going to go down that loop. Take the white on the left, go underneath all of your work, right up the middle. And then you have this loop on the left side, you're going to go down that loop. Now I'm going to take the larger um, bundle of graphite and I'm going to find those two horizontal pieces that are in the middle. I'm going to pull up on them just a little bit. Take that larger bundle and I'm going to go over and around those two horizontal pieces and to the right. So over, around, and to the right. Take the one on the left, go over and around but to the left. So over and around and to the left. I'm going to take my black and I'm going to crisscross them again. I'm going to crisscross them in the same way that I did before so that middle part of the pull strap will always be going the same direction. So I'm going to take my one on my right and I'm going to go over to the left and bring the one on my left over to the right. So 
the crisscross for for me um, my core that started on my right and goes over will always be the one that's going to be on the bottom of the crisscross if that makes sense now I'm going to take my black that is on the right side and I'm going to go around those two horizontal pieces and to the right so I'm just going to go around or over and around and to the right take the one on the left now go over and around and out to the left and then tighten it up once you have it tightened up you're just going to start the weave all over again and this same weave is going to go all the way down to the end of your pull strap so you'll always be starting on the right so I'm going to take my right smaller bundle graphite I'm going to go under right up the middle and then over Take the one on the left, go underneath the cord that I just worked, under, right up the middle, and then over, and you got your little triangle. Take your white on the right and go underneath, right up the middle, and then down your loop. Take the one on the left now, go underneath, right up the middle, and then down that loop on the left. Take your larger graphite, pull up on those two horizontal graphite pieces, go over and around and out to the right. Take the one on the left, over and around and out to the left. Crisscross your black in the same direction that you did before. And then take the one on the right, go over and around and to the right. Take the one on the left, go over and around and to the left and then tighten it up. So this is what the weave is starting to look like. You can see how the crisscross in the middle is going the same direction all the way down. I'm going to continue this weave until I'm completely down to the end and I will show you guys how I do my tie off and what it looks like when it's finished. You have a small gap between your work and these two cows hitches. Um, you're going to want to go right in that gap and you're going to do that for the other graphite on the opposite side that's coming out of the top part of the collar. Uh, sorry, the pull strap. Next you're going to um, weave in your black cords and you want to keep that same pattern of that crisscross going down. So for me I'm going to be starting on my uh, left side because the left cord is what's going underneath the right cord when it's facing this direction. So what you want to do with this cord is you have a small gap or a small hole right between the two cow's hitches and that's where you're going to go and put that black cord and then you'll do the other black cord also but what you're going to want to do with this cord the other cord is you want to go on the left side of your cord that you just worked. So you just want to go right, right on the left side of the cord and then pull it through to the other side. So I'm going to start on my side and I'm going to go about a quarter of an inch or so up uh, from the pull strap. I'm going to fray them out a little bit. Uh, and I, I unfortunately misplaced uh, my normal lighter that I've been using, but I do have this thing, and it is a torch lighter. Um, I do apologize that I don't have the correct lighter that I usually use. Um, you can use a regular lighter, but I don't think they work as well. I, I don't know how to explain it very well. Um, it doesn't melt it. Uh, as well as a torch lighter does because you don't want them to catch on fire you just want to melt them um, I'm also going to use my scissors because I misplaced my knife also my butter knife um, I'm not very well put together today so I'm going to use my scissors because they're metal and I'm going to squish them down with my scissors so I'm going to start with the white melt it and then squish it down. 
I'm going to do the same for the other graphite and the same on the opposite side. So just going to melt it. Squish it down. Once you have both sides done, we can start with the middle. I like to do one at a time so I can hold these cords out of the way and I can do one at a time. So I'm going to cut this. I'm going to fray it out. Then I'm going to melt it and squish it down with my scissors. And I'm going to do the same for the rest of the cords. Alright, once you are done with that, you can use this pull strap just the way it is. I like to put a little bit of Gorilla Clear non-foaming glue right on the ends of where I just squashed them down. Um, just for a little bit of extra security. I do this on my collars, my leashes. You don't have to put a whole bunch. You do want the clear non-foaming. It is waterproof. Like I said, it's just a little bit of extra security. And you're going to let that dry. Once it's dry, I will let you guys see what it looks like when it's completely finished.